Let's get going. Zoom game. And hopefully it just dr dumps us off on the right island. I hope that's the case. Okay, there we go. Right. We didn't even start unloading last time. We just got here with my mass number of people. Okay, well, first and foremost, let's start just by harvesting everything. And just making the usual mega stockpile right next to everything. This is going to take a little while before they get through all that stuff. And we got to clear it all out. Uh, let's see. Next order of business. Right, it's control. We want to pull out most of our wood. And, like, our tools. I apparently had some tea and, like, some lunch boxes. We might as well pull those out as well. Okay. You know, I realize... We didn't actually allow anything on the storage yard. And we didn't give ourselves any room to get a bonfire down. That's... Well, honestly, not actually that big of a deal. Look at them all work. It's fun to watch. Uh, let's see. So luckily, I don't really have to do anything. I was, I was thinking about this game yesterday, and I was kind of frustrated, you know, just because of some of the, like, weird quality of life issues. But that is heavily offset by this game, by the, the fact that you don't need to worry about, um loss or failure. There are no consequences in this game. You just kind of go. And that's actually really cool. Okay. Hey, thank you Shlomi Ha for the 15 month resub. Just want to say watching your videos and streams is helping me calm down while, while in panic attacks. Thank you. I'm glad to help. I've only ever had a couple of those. But they're bad. And it's like... I don't know, usually I just go sit in a dark room. Not the most useful way to get past it, but I don't know. But yeah, that sucks. I'm glad to hear that I'm helping out by just being me on the internet. Anyway, <laughs> this should be a nice and calming game. Uh, let's see. So what are we gonna do? Uh, right. The usual bonfires on the beach. We'll do that until we can't anymore. It's a little wasteful, but uh... Because I end up making more more bonfires this way. But they don't get in my way this way. Because as far as I know, there's nothing you can do on the beach. Like, I've, I've never seen anything that can be constructed out here. Uh, let's see. But yes, I'm glad. I'm glad to know that, I, like, I guess I help people. Every once in a while, I think to myself, like, man... Maybe I should have gone into a profession that was a little bit more, um, useful. Uh, probably some kind of, like, physics or engineering or something like that, so I could maybe help improve the world in some way. And, honestly, like, eh, I, I just, I'll just help people by existing. Which actually seems to work quite well. <laughs> uh, if, you know, the, uh, the multitude of comments encouraging me. Uh, are true. I don't know. It is a weird topic. But thank you all. And thank you so much. Uh, let's see. So what are we doing? I just kind of have blanked here. We need bonfires. I'm gonna wait until those two are done. We can start doing some other stuff. If we found... No, it doesn't... It doesn't actually look like we've got enemy camps on this one. Let's see. I'm gonna slap it down there, probably. We'll fill it out as we go along. Entertainment is a very important pr profession. It helps keep, keep people sane. Very true. I'm just always a little afraid that I'm contributing to, like, a lot of younger generations or just people, like, um, kind of neglecting uh, life responsibilities and whatever. Uh, there was an article a little while back about how Younger generations are having serious problems with, um, I guess, financial planning and, like, really getting sucked into spending bucket loads of money on stuff like mobile games and Apex Legends and Fortnite and so on and so forth. And, you 
know, I mean, realistically, there are totally things that rot rotted kill ah, children's children's yes, children's brains when I was a kid. And I'm not even that old, so like, I more or less grew up with this. Video games have been around for a while. I just, I would hate to find out that humanity dooms itself largely because uh, we got too addicted to video games. Which is silly, because like, you can totally be be productive at the same time. I, okay, I guess maybe this is more of a uh, personal topic for me and, and why I'm like always a little leery about like, you know, encouraging too much video gameplay and whatnot even though that is literally my job. Uh, I have a cousin who I actually haven't seen or spoken to in... I wanna say... Six years now? Yeah, six, six years now. I saw him immediately after my college graduation. And... I honestly can't tell you what he does for a living. As far as I know, he... I don't even know if he went to college. He certainly... He certainly didn't graduate college. His brother went to college for football, and I think his other brother never, never even bothered. Last I knew, they were getting evicted from their house and like so on and so forth. But uh, the reason why I bring this up is very specifically because my cousin, totally able-bodied guy, nothing wrong with him. I think he spent like five years of his life locked in his room playing nothing but Final Fantasy XI, and there's nothing wrong with like playing that much, but like. I'm always afraid that I've I am somehow like uh, driving people to do that sort of thing. Uh, even though you know, chances are n no people actually are going to be nice and productive and and know their limits. Okay, one, two, three. Because yeah, I always got kind of depressed whenever I I went home and saw some of my cousins. Because uh, in a lot of cases. Yeah, they were really cool growing up. Sound effects are really loud. Okay, we can turn them down. Um, I just get desensitized to them. Honestly, let's just turn them off. They're not adding anything to this game. Let's see, we're gonna doom ourselves because kids are too expensive. How many people do you know with at least 2.1 children? I actually only know one person with a kid. Every adult I know is child-free currently, and admittedly, I'm still kind of on the younger side. Um, let's see. I want another workplace specifically for this stuff. Okay, so we want to make planks, handles, boards, blocks. I guess actually I might as well pick it here. Because we don't need more tools at least for a little while. Okay, uh, let's see, same deal. But yeah, the, on the only person I know with a kid is straight up Moose and Joe. They've got a very adorable daughter, and that's about it. Now, admittedly, that's not con counting my relatives that are like 10 years older than me. Uh, most of my cousins have at least like one to two kids. Uh, yeah, I think, I think most of my cousins in Minnesota have two kids. But that's also from like a, a much more like... Um, I'm not exactly going to say a country background. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think it really is part partly a generational thing. Like, people that grew up uh, probably five years older than me to anyone younger than me probably sees kids as this, like, almost unattainable thing, just like owning a owning a house and so on and so forth. Because I don't... I mean, I might end up owning a house someday, but there is there's definitely, like, a, a concern that, yeah, I might not end up owning... Uh, owning property for, like, a considerable amount of time. And honestly, it's also one of those where I really don't want to have a house until I know where I want to live. Uh, I would absolutely hate to buy a house and then run into the current issues that I'm running into. The classic background of having two kids by 35? Yeah. I mean, my parents had me, I think, when they were in their very early 30s. 
I'm torn. I Part of it is I just don't have time to, like, take care of a kid, and I, f I would feel like a gigantic jerk uh, for having a kid until I'm, like, capable of devoting time to it. I mildly aspire to be somebody's, like, cool uncle that, like, is there when it's like, hey, yeah, let's go to, to Disney Shimabada. Or something like that. Like, that's the sort of thing I, I could really get behind. Because then, then I don't have to worry about, like, poop or feeding them or college. I'm really digging this music. It's, uh, it's the Mega Man Robot Museum uh, OC Remix album. It is by far one of my favorite albums to listen to while I'm streaming. It's a little, it's a little repetitive. But, I like it. Right, we should probably get these people some houses. They're probably kind of grumpy about this. Where do I make them live? I mean, I could just put a row of houses right here. Because this is mostly industry row. Do we have any... Do we have a spot for wheat? We do. It's over there. Okay. You had to grow up as the middle child, not fun. Honestly, I, I think the ideal always will be one to two children. I would say... I don't know. I mean, I've had interesting run-ins with... Uh, run-ins? Experiences with, with people over the years? Uh, kids. Kids with many siblings. Kids with only one sibling. I was, there's like... I've had some serious issues with people with like... The only child syndrome, if you've ever heard of that before. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of the, the classic of, like, I want it, I want it now, not sharing, being just kind of selfish, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's why there's always one left over, because it's not reachable. Huh. It actually looks like the central thing here isn't mineable at all. That's weird. Um... But no, I don't know. My my parents uh, only had... Well, okay, technically my parents had multiple children. It's just only a two out of five survived? But, like, most of them were tubal pregnancies and whatever, so that's not, like, this super grim thing. Um, but that was always a little hard on my mother. Uh, Health-wise, too, tubal pregnancies are not good for a person. Um, but... I don't think I would have wanted any other siblings. I think it would have been fine if we had been, like, really spaced apart, but, like, too much and it would have been an issue. I, I had some friends who were... It was three brothers, and the eldest was an absolute spoiled jerk. The middle was just a jerk, and the youngest was, uh, extremely sensitive. And so, effectively, the two older ones just went around picking on him all the time. And it just was, was not... I'm not going to say it was a terrible situation. Oh my god, are they just building nothing but handles? They're just producing nothing but handles. We should probably stop them. I really wish you could you could just uh, say, like, I want to have, like, five handles always in this, in this construction yard, as opposed to go nuts and make nothing but tools that nobody seems to use. Like, have you noticed that? That all of my tools are just over here for whatever reason. I never see anybody using tools. Well, I guess that person has a... Is that a pickaxe or... No, they're using a sword. Uh... I have questions about that. <laughs> okay. So we should probably pause. Go back to... Ah rotating weir weirdly. 
Wheat. Okay, so we, we've turned off wheat. What we want to have is stockpile very specifically for wheat out here. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's that. We want to farm. Uh, I didn't do this right. Okay, so that's that's the wheat farm. Uh, now, I only need water for... stuff out here. And why are we talking about children? You know, I honestly have no idea. I think largely because I have nothing else to talk about with this game currently. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of one of those where it's like the basic setup on every one of these maps isn't too different from like any other strategy or RTS thing where like you just kind of slap it down and you're like, all right, good enough. Oh, this needs wooden wooden parts. Wait, no, no, no. Wooden parts are different from wooden ha handles. Okay, so supposedly we're producing the parts. Just for whatever reason, we went on, like, tool brigade for reasons. But no, I, I honestly cannot tell you why I went uh, went on, on chat about children mode. I'm sure if we, if we walked it back, we could figure it out pretty quick. But, like, eh... I really can't select this well for whatever reason. Okay, so next up we need a brewery. We need a brewery and a bakery. Question, can I... Can I actually do foundation grass? Ah! That's helpful. It doesn't seem like it cost me anything, so I might as well just expand that green space. Okay, now we've got now we got space for the uh, the brewery and the bakery. I'm just gonna extend that down that way. And we want a... I mean, honestly, we might as well just put a stockpile in front of each. Okay. Can't select it. It's like the brewery, though. Okay, so we might as well make beer and tea. Then we can resolve that. I like that system. Bread, lunchbox, and strawberry donuts. Okay, so that's good. So it looks like we need beer, tea, harvested tomatoes, and bread. And that's like the only thing we actually care about here? That's an interesting situation. Oh, might as well just uh, grow some flowers here. So foundations are slightly different from grass, uh, from regular soil, because you can't grow anything on them. But that's fine. How's it going, Wander? I am eh, just relaxing. Spend the whole day mostly working on editing videos and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're ending up with a lot of blocks. That's probably for the best. We need... 
We need a shipping port. Where do we want said shipping port? We might actually want it up here. Maybe right here. I'll just run a road to it. Okay, really want to figure out how to get zeppelins working this time around, so we should probably work on that. Same thing with the horse station. Carriages to transport goods. Comes with a free horse. Logistics system. Allows you to connect multiple transport uh, transportation and storage systems. Once set up, it'll automatically generate transport jobs. Okay. Uh, I'm sure somebody was mad, mad at me about this whole setup a while back, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, there's not really a whole lot of reason to have... I'm gonna just plonk one of these kind of in a couple of locations. We'll see if we can get it working. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, we don't have depots. They connect multiple transportation and storage systems. Once set up, it'll automatically generate transport jobs. Okay, horse station. Not connected to... Well, what would we move? Now, probably not water. Main thing is, we don't have a whole lot of resources to move around yet. Let's see, so what's the plan uh, for tomorrow, for the 4th of July? I'm not actually sure, uh, I will be honest. We should make another well here, by the way. Um, oh, can I make multiple? There we go. Uh, you know what? Maybe not this second, that third well. Sorry. I'm just going to get several so we can really just output water. Okay. And it looks like they're not making wooden parts. This is really frustrating. They're they're overstocking on stone blocks, but they won't make a single goddamn wood part for whatever reason. Okay. I guess I'm just going to make everybody go bananas on wooden parts. This one will still work on wooden boards and so on and so forth. But we need those parts so we can actually make food. The animals eating, uh, cooked food. I'm sure they are. There's no way I can tell them not to. Kind of, I'd say frustratingly, but I don't know. Probably doesn't matter that much. Oh, that reminds me. We have a whole bunch of new townsfolk that aren't doing anything. I'm just going to enable everything and just let them do whatever. Eventually, I'll need them for a specific task, but right now, I just need them to do a thing. Unfortunately, I think no matter what, we're going to have a bunch of idle people just because we actually don't have that many tasks. Let's see. Actually, what it looks like is we might want a second and third brewery. Because...
I don't want foundation grass. Bakery, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so what we're gonna want... ...is several more breweries. Oh, let's see, I'm just gonna connect them with the road here. Because, yeah, I think currently we're just gonna have manpower problems. We might want to get some more wells here, too. Okay, so hopefully this will get worked on. We do need a we do need a forest. Now this is something we should experiment with the uh, zeppelins. So I'm gonna just make a small grove, four by four. Let's see. Oh, so we needed a zeppelin depot. Used by Zeppelins to load light and medium goods. So I think the station is where they just drop. So until we can actually get the, uh... Until we actually can get a Zeppelin Depot, there's not really a whole lot of point in building one. Okay. That should work, so we've got some just errant houses. Or errant houses, errant horses. Okay. Horse station. No good accepted from log. Can provide two logistics system. Okay, so hopefully that'll actually get them to move. Let's see, funky music too. Music, this music is my own. This is not the uh, the game's music. I I I wish I wish it was to some degree, but nope, it's mine. So these green squares, by the way, are where the trees would actually grow. That makes sense. Okay. What? Oh. The reason why they never made it is because I never enabled wooden parts. I'm a dumb dumb. I wish more people would play these kinds of small indie games like Nova Drift, Blazing Beaks, because Wanda's the only one doing this in English for a long period of time. I think a lot of it is because the profits are all in like Fortnite and Apex Legends and the main things. Uh, what the? Oh, they're sleeping. From this angle, it looks like the uh, the pigs on its side just squirting water into the sky, which is just weird. Okay, so let's. Let's get some barns out here. Let's see, missing wooden log for construction. Well, we should have plenty of those now. Holy crap. We might want to expand the, uh, the setup. Now, the horse is going to do anything or... Nope, the freaking... The pigs are just doing it all. Why? Go. No schedule. Go? Carriage schedule. Add a station to the schedule. Select the carriage from right click on the new station. Remove a station. Okay, so we need we need another another uh, horse carriage here. Well in that case, I'm gonna cancel this house. 
We're gonna put a, uh, let me see. We're gonna put a horse station right here, along with some road. Okay, so they won't go deliver at the stockpile, but they might deliver at this other horse station. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I'm just gonna... Just gonna grab this album. Yo, Clef, you want to make a uh, robot museum command for that? So whenever people ask, I can just uh, share that. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. It. I think it's just one of those where it's easier to just like play a game once and then move on. Oh, shoot. We got a turtle. He's very tired. Might have to turn down the graphics on this game further. Because it really does get, like, super... Super unhappy with me if I've been playing for too long. Or station four. Carriage schedule is non existent. Okay, so that horse is going. Okay, and that horse is going. Uh, now they're glitching into each other. The question is, are they going to load anything? Okay, they're actually moving logs now. Okay, so we've got the most basic of industries and one glitchy log. But that's fine. Man of War is the name of my house. Uh, my horse. Okay. So we've got that kind of handled. This is good. Now we're just working on our beer and bread targets. Uh, we might actually need a secondary stockpile. Because we might be filling out a little bit. Okay. Oh, we also got to start farming some tomatoes. Uh, let's see, where's, where's some viable farmland? This looks like viable-ish farmland. I mean, I'm, I'm just jamming it wherever I can. Okay, so we want to just do tomatoes. Okay. So now we're working on the beer. We're working on the bread. Uh, I guess let's stop making some tea. Because we just need to go absolutely bananas for beer. Uh, there's also a horse carriage here. I guess there's no reason for it, for it though. Okay, let's prioritize these, these two breweries. Because, yeah, we're loading up on tea real fast, but not so much on the beer side of things. Okay, how's the... Nope, that's... That's eh, growing. Okay, so... 
I need a lot more houses. Why do we just have two random torches here? Get rid of that. Okay, so it looks like the horse train here is actually really solving my, my transportation problems. We still have... well, actually, you know what? I can... because I've got spare horse trains, we might as well just use them. Uh, let's see. Now, I've got one right here, if I can select it. Okay, there we go. Is it just going? I think it will. So at this point, we might want to uh, increase my forestry setup by a little bit. Because it doesn't look like we're stockpiling much for wood, so we can we can expand it by a little bit. Now we just gotta wait for the the beer and oh the bread. Oh, are we not? Is no one baking? Well, it's a cross between no one's baking and everybody is um everybody is busy. Okay, that is also too many flowers. So I'm gonna like kill a fair bit of that. I'm gonna make the stupidest stockpile. Okay, there we go. So now we got a secondary stockpile just for wheat. I think we might want to consider this in the future, especially for farms, uh, to limit the amount of output, just not having split stockpiles. Let's see. How's it Cuban? It's Cuban alright. I'm getting a hang of this. It still has some like weird funks, but like all things considered, I've I've gotten a general idea on how this game goes. It says house house 48, but I think each of these houses only holds like three people. Which is odd. Let's see. Now I could sell some stuff. I know jelly donuts sell for a lot, and tools sell for a fair bit too. Well, do we want to just sell all of our excess tools? Seeing... Hmm... Maybe. We wondered, did you ever finish Dragon Quest XI? Heck no, that game is way long. I'd love to, but that would take a lot of time. Okay, so we have OC Robo. Perfect. If we can, if we can remember it in the future. I have a command now for this album that I'm listening to. Oh god. I think I might want to turn the graphics down to like medium or something. I, I think it's mostly CPU bottle bottlenecking more than actual graphics lagging, but like this is kind of bad. Okay. So I'm going to quit out of the game and then I'm going to load it up again, and that should fix the problem. Wonder ever stream to both YouTube and Twitch? No, actually. Uh, I can't. I'm not allowed to. And honestly, nor do I want to. 
Uh, what CPU do you have? A uh, Ryzen. Uh, Ryzen 7, 3 point something gigahertz, give or take. But no, I can't stream to YouTube and Twitch uh, simultaneously because I'm a Twitch partner. And also, like, streaming to YouTube was not good for my channel. Um, it's... So there's something about streaming that actually, like, screws with, uh... That screws with, like, YouTube, um... Like, your metrics and your searchability. And it, like, really prioritizes your streams over anything else, and it's like a... It's a weird problem. Also, YouTube chat is really unhealthy. Like, imagine YouTube comments, but as a live stream. Ugh. But yeah, I just have to re routinely restart the game, and it solves the uh, weird bottlenecking issue. Oh, huh. it looks like it also broke some of my stockpiles. They're there. But because of the foundations, they're actually not, uh, the edges of them are not visible. That's amusing. <laughs> 